Yo, what's going on guys? Triple Force here, Matt here. And a long time ago, I know I made a series about um, uh, scouting for gold weapons. And as you guys can see here, I do already have a gold weapon, uh, two of them actually. And that is because I was not the rank underdog. You have to be the rank underdog to unlock the first gold weapon. And then you have to keep ranking up. And once you get to the ultimate survivor, if you keep winning against the night hunter, you can possibly get even more gold weapons. So hopefully we can get some human co-ops in here. I don't have to do this solo. That would suck. But I'm, I'm, I'm here for a challenge, I guess. Here. Where is it now? I know a lot of people say don't have your back face toward the night hunter, but YOLO, right? Anybody else really want to know how that works? Leave in the comment section down below how that works because. I hate it when people can do that. Cause he didn't ground pound me, he just sort of kinda latched on me. And I really hate when that happens. Oh, if we're able to kill him. Kidding me? Alright, so we're gonna let my UV light recharge while I go take out this nest. Oh, he's coming in hot. Behind me, flares. Yeah. All right. The zombies really make this game mode a little bit annoying. Dude, where is it? Just sort of gonna watch it from above. Like, he's Jesus or something. Oh my gosh. I really can't pull out this thing. For some reason, I still don't have enough desk space to make movements, which really sucks. To move my keyboard and stuff. Mouse pad over a little bit. We gotta try and kill this night hunter. We don't want to be too aggressive. It takes so long to recharge. This sucks. This really sucks. Look at that. Uh, 
Nothing worse than not even destroying one single freaking nest. Nothing but constant deaths. Come on, can we get some human co-ops in here? This is really annoying. This is so annoying. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna go to the next nest. It's not a good combo here, man. On the wall, on the wall. All right, we're going towards the goal here. You kidding me right now? Get off me. I'm going for the pounce, I know it. No, the horse is gonna get me. You can't pounce if you're not at 100%. Does that work? Flash now, flash now. Are you kidding me? No, the freaking zombies are gonna get me. Are you freaking kidding me? No! We're almost there, we only got three more things to destroy. We can still do this, guys. You just have to believe in yourself. You have the power within. 
to do anything that you believe you can do. And I believe I can beat this Night Hunter, because if I don't, I'm going to de-rank, and I'm probably going to go... Pounce me. I can't use my UV light. I can't use my flares either. Ah! Come on. Flare. No, I just threw a flare. Are you kidding me? And those bombers are so annoying. Like literally, they they pop up out of nowhere and just destroy you. It's not even cool. Uh, I just need to make my way over to the next nest. I can do this still. It just is getting a little tougher because. Get at me. Kill it. Did we get it? Run over to the next nest now. Right, we can do this. Come on, you be like, come on, you be flares. Get off me, zombie, stop it! You idiot, get off me! You understand how precious this rank is to me? Get the freak off me, man. How am I not climbing up this rock? What the heck? Uh, I'm telling you guys, character movement in this game sucks with a night hunter. So it doesn't it doesn't even make sense. How am I not climbing this rock and this is a freaking parkour game? What the heck? Doesn't make any sense. Literally, it does not make any sense. I just need to get this last nest, I can do it.
That's not no. I did that on purpose. That was my fault. All right, guys, we can still do this. We can still do this. He's just trying extremely hard. Now I'm. Uh, we can still do this as long as we kill it once. Last nest. Come on. Yes, what did I say to you guys? We did it. Two lives left. Believe. And we got the rule hammer. GG, Ballo, Graph, BMV, W guy. GG. All right, so details. I don't know if I ranked up, but I am an underdog rank, as you guys can see. And I got two weapons, I believe. But I did get that gold weapon, and now it's back to regular dying light. So I'm gonna go to a safe house real quick, and I actually want to display some of the gold weapons. This is the, uh... Let's see what it is. The smack hammer, I believe, that I was using. It has 1,800 damage, close to 1,900. Yeah, close to 1900 damage. Um, the durability is 110. The handling is 73. Um, sadly, though, you don't get any repairs on this gold weapon, which I guess it, it's, it's, it's fine, I guess. But, um, yeah. But from this episode, if you guys don't get anything else out of it, believe in yourself. Because, man, if we, we would have not gotten that gold weapon. We probably would have gotten it because it really depends on how many nests that you get but you want to win as much as you possibly can because if you don't win then you obviously like i've said several times in the video you de-rank and that stops the possibility of even getting a gold weapon next gold weapon that i want to actually showcase is the ganun ganunaba the gananaba all right and it's modified um its damage is, uh, I wanna show you guys the first one. I really do. I don't know what the first one's base damage is, but I know that if I, if you upgrade it to what I have it upgraded to, let's see what it is that I have it modified to. So I think it's electricity and uh, burning, then it gets to 2,649 damage. <clears throat> Has a 98 durability. The handling is 134. The repair is 3. The upgrade is 3. The rune hammer. Two-handed weapon, I believe. Yeah, two-handed weapon. And it does have repairs, which is good. It has six repairs, actually. And its damage is pretty darn good. Uh, you could use this to face the night hunter. This is probably one of the easier ones to use since it's not as heavy. Or maybe the heaviness of the weapon doesn't really affect that handling speed. I'm not really sure how it works in Dying Light. But as you guys can see, that thing goes in. And I'm actually going to go over the stats for you guys. The Ruin Hammer, 1800 damage. 80 durability, 6 repairs, 3 upgrades. And its handling is 15, which is extremely low for a rune hammer. So if you guys have a um, upgrade that allows you, like the fencer or another upgrade that increases the handling, I definitely would recommend it because it is pretty slow using this weapon. 
but it does pretty good work for bad handling. So I think they had to balance it out like that. All right, gonna move on to the next gold weapon here. And the next gold weapon here is the Battle Axe of Titans. Now the Battle Axe of Titans, sorry about that, has, it, it's really close to 1900 damage. The durability is 80, handling is 73. Don't know if I already went over this one, but it has six repairs and three upgrades. And the last gold weapon that I've obtain, obtained so far is the Loco, which I've already modified it, so it does some extra damage. I have electricity on it and I think toxic. Yeah, toxic. And the damage rose up to um, 2,437. The durability is um, 112, so you can smack people 112 times. You can smack zombies specifically 112 times with this. The handling is really good, 111. So if you upgrade the handling, I'm pretty sure you could get an even faster amount with that. Um, And uh, yeah, that is the final gold weapon. Let's just test this one out as well. So we're gonna select it and we're going to replace that one. All right, somebody's trying to join. I don't have the zombie invasions on. But as you guys can see, if you do get this gold weapon, it does pretty darn good work. What's up ALS1234? Should have just said ALS. 1234 but this thing goes in anyways hope you guys enjoyed this episode oh man sadly ALS 1234 left the lobby but maybe that's good hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of me beating the night hunter and getting these gold weapons to showcase them off to you guys. So far, I know that there are um, some more gold weapons out there. Probably only one more that I haven't gotten, which is the one with the prickly, prickliness to it. Kinda like a puffer fish, I guess. But just look at how much work these things do. I mean, honestly. Yeah, so like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Me Against the Night Hunter. If you did, then remember to leave a like, comment down below, favorite, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more content. And if you want to add me on Steam, uh, well, you can try and get lucky and get into one of my games. Because I do leave my games open. And then you can just add me from inside the game. So yeah. My uh, Steam address is Steam address. My Steam name is Triple Four Seven Nine, just like the channel. And uh, enough said there. Triple Four Seven Nine out. Peace.